Alrighty, um, today I'm going to show you how to tie one of my favorite uh, carp flies. It's called the uh, Egan's Head Stand. Start out with, um, got my thread, which is uh, red 8 aught um, Danville. Um, First, I'm going to start out with some VG and I's. See if I can find the brass ones. Here they are. Start out with my uh, VG and I's. Making uh, a little thread bump there. And thread bump there as well. Then center the eyes on those. And uh, make sure those eyes are tied in nice and tight and straight. Um, now wrap your thread uh, down the bend. Um, the hook I got in, in, in here is a size 8 uh, curved scat. Um, so I'm going to take some out for the here's, your, here's your mask. I'm going to clip off and uh, trim off some of the fur from the, from the cheek area. I'm going to pull out the longest, just the longest card here. And I'm going to tie that in for my tail. Right now I'm going to trip it off. Run back up. This fly is um, really good for carp. Um, I actually, for a long time, didn't know what a real headstand looked like. I had just glimpsed a chartreuse one in uh, a fly box. Um, alrighty, I'm going to take a uh, brown hackle. I'm going to tie it in. I'm going to strip it down and I'm going to tie it in by the tip. Um, go back down and take uh, some tan antrum. And uh, make a somewhat chunky body because you want it to be going to be it to be uh, able to withstand quite a few because um, if you're fishing anywhere with panfish in it the panfish will a lot of panfish will catch that it'll get this fly before the carp um, simply because they're so abundant just a little bit more I'm going to wrap this um, all the way up to just behind the eyes. And we're going to take our hackle and uh, just palmer that up with some you get real buggy, nice, evenly spaced wraps. And then uh, tie it off at the eyes. Um, now uh, I'm going to invert this and this is the this is the fun part um, getting getting towards I mean this this is really really makes the fly look cool um, taking about 
four strands of peacock curl aligning the tips and then I'm gonna tie these in to, so they extend just past the point of the hook shank um, get those tied in right behind those bead chain eyes and that adds a nice little bit of flash and then I'm going to double back this peacock curl to give it an even a little bit more and I'm going to trim that level of the other ones um, and now we're getting we're almost complete um, I'm going to take some uh, some um, like I think of their shark chartreuse and uh, black barred uh, silly legs um, and I'm going to tie those in on either side um, you want them to extend just past uh, the tail of the fly and I'm going to make sure these are even good and uh, now I'm going to take some it's either white or cream dubbing and uh, dub the head on this fly and this is a light, this is the light variation I normally tie them in uh, brown, olive um, all with a lighter colored head or even if you have stained or uh, muddy water like a fluorescent green head uh, I've also heard some people um, where it, chartreuse works real well for some people um, just where I fish water is uh, really, fairly clear and the carp are really spooky because they're in a the creek um, but that there is pretty much it you want to make sure that head's a, head is nice and uh, big so the fly will do a uh, headstand hence the name um, finish it off I'm just gonna finish the thread and um, sometimes I normally don't use red thread um, I normally use color to match the head of the fly but um, fix these legs a little bit and uh, that's uh, pretty much it the headstand hope you uh, guys all liked it and uh, go catch some ready hope you guys all enjoyed this and uh, go catch some carp